Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Jordan and this is Jojo's World of Swirl. So today I have some more free time because the kids are gone. And so one thing that I like to do is I like to meal prep my breakfasts. Now my grocery haul video that I just did a couple days ago, I think it was, I will link it down here in the description box so you guys can check it out. We bought the ingredients for the breakfast burritos that we are about to do today. So I'm gonna show you guys, I like to prep some, sometimes I'll put ground sausage in them, different flavors, maybe mild, spicy, mix them together, depends. Sometimes I will use smoky link sausages, which I will show you those in a minute. All right guys, here are the ingredients that we are going to use today for the breakfast burritos. Obviously burrito, you're gonna need tortillas. I like these flour tortillas. I don't get the huge ones. They're just perfect size to me to be able to roll up for a breakfast. Um, depending on the person, they might want two tortillas for breakfast where I would be good with one. Just depends. You could always put potatoes in these two. Um, shredded potato hash browns or like the American sized potatoes, the little, you know, the little square potatoes you can get. Or if you wanted to use an actual like bag of potatoes, you could either cut the skin off, leave it on, just dice it up, just use what you guys have. So we have this spinach, as you can see, like it doesn't, it's not supposed to go bad for a few more days, but this is what I was talking about in the grocery haul video too. Some of the quality of stuff was not good. So I wasn't originally going to put spinach in here, but when I seen it, it's kind of, we'll have to pick some of it out. Um, yeah, they, those pieces definitely will have to get picked out, but I do want to put some good pieces in there just so it doesn't go to waste and we'll get some more nutrients. So it's a win-win. Um, shredded cheese. You can use literally any kind of cheese that you want. I just love Colby Jack or you could use sharp cheddar, um, mozzarella, like for real guys, you can use anything, any, any type of cheese. I got some milk because I like to put milk to mix in with the scrambled eggs. Um, I use this type of butter. We got peppers and onions. I like to dice those up and have them with eggs anyways. So, of course, I'm going to put them in the burritos too. Now, here are the smoky links that I was talking about when I was de-thawing these because I um, keep them in my deep freezer. But this is what the um, label looks like. I wanted to show you guys just so you could them. find Let's it. Let's go ahead and put them back in the freezer, actually. This is another video I'm going to do. is going to be going through this and organizing it and getting rid of old stuff that's probably been in there forever. But until that video, just pretend like you didn't see anything. Okay, back over here. Obviously, we're going to need eggs. We have that. So let's start prepping. All right, guys, so we are going to go ahead and start prepping for the burritos. I'm sorry if you if I'm far away or if you can't see me that well. It is because I don't have the best camera set up. Um, we will get there, but for now, just so you guys can see what I'm doing, it works. Because you could either chop them up if you wanted to in small pieces, but what's easier for me is I just cut them long ways like this. Don't fully cut them through, but just enough to where it'll open up and you'll have it like this because when we put it on our griddle, we're gonna put it down like this open side is gonna go flat down on the hot griddle and butter. We're gonna fry this up so that it gets nice and charred but not burnt. And I promise you guys, these are so good. My boyfriend introduced me to these. I've never seen them before until I went over to his house and his mom made them for us and they were so good and so then when we moved in together he of course brought them over here and they've just been a thing ever since now in the deep freezer downstairs we have about four or five packs at a time because we love them the kids love them they quick they cook so fast um it's just a super fast breakfast thing so Let's see, how many burritos are we going to make? You know what, let's cook up this whole pack. Like I said, we have a ton more packs down in the basement. So we are just gonna go ahead and do these too. A little girl, I've loved watching the Food Network channel. It's crazy because what kid in fourth and fifth grade is coming home after school to watch the Food Network, right? 
but I was. And my mom and my dad would always say, you know, don't you want to watch something else? And I would say, no, I want to watch. I used to watch Rachel Ray, The 30 Minute Meals. Then that turned into Barefoot Contessa. I loved her. Um, who else was it? Sandra with semi-homemade cooking. All of those old cooking shows were so good. Um, the ones out now, I love Pioneer Woman. I have her dinner plate set. I have the knife set. Um, I have one pan of hers. Oh, speaking of the knife set I'm using, this is the blue Pioneer Woman set. But, okay, so we got our sausage done. Let me come show you guys. We got it sliced up just like this, open, enough to where it's not going to fully break, but enough to fry it. So, let's go ahead and get that on the pan. All right, guys. Sorry, I am super tall, and I cannot get a good angle otherwise. So, this is just what it is. Um, the pan is on. I am going to go ahead and put a little, a few sticks of butter onto the pan to let it melt all over. Once it's nice and hot melted, then we're gonna stick our sausages on. This is the best way to do it. This is the only way that I've done it. Um, I really haven't tried to cook them any other way because this is so good. All right, so I have it on a medium high heat. Um, it is sizzling and bubbling and melting. So we are going to go ahead and Put on our links, put them face down to where the open side that we cut is down on the griddle. You hear that sizzle sound guys? That's from the butter and it's gonna start frying on the open end of the sausage. If you guys are wondering how tall I am from this camera, this is really actually a high camera. Um, I am just 5'10". And like I told you in the other video, I played basketball, um, middle school, high school, and college. So, sorry guys, I'm tall. Can't fit the camera. But look around here. You see how the, the sizzling is starting to go from that butter? We are going to let those cook. I have them on medium high heat. It's a three out of five. So while those are frying up okay sorry guys it is far away again but that's what we have to do so we have a um, green pepper i'm going to go ahead and cut this down like this now for these burritos we are going to do i think five we're going to do five or six scrambled eggs so let's see i always just trim it all apart anyways and then whatever i don't use I will put into a plastic bag for storage just for meals this week. That way it's already cut up for me. I don't have to try to cut it up again when I have free time right now because the kids are gone. So when I'm cutting these, I always cut off these pieces, the, the wider parts. All right, sorry guys, I had a phone call come in. So we're going to cut these um, like this, which is called Julienne style. We're gonna do it the long way. Don't cut yourself. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and check our sausages. You see this, guys? This is what you're wanting. That's what you want your sausages to look like. You want them to be fried enough to where they are not burned, but they have flavor and they're gonna be good. You don't want mushy sausages that are not fully cooked. So we're gonna flip those over. We're going to let those keep cooking on medium-high heat. They're cooking up just how I want them to. And then, in the meantime, we are going to go back over here, and we are going to finish cutting up our onion. All right, here we go with our onion. I always cut, I cut half of off like this. Then I'll cut the other piece off. Then I'll slice it down, and I take the, out the ring off. See how easy that comes off when you cut it the way I just cut it? Got your whole onion out. Okay, we're gonna clean up the little wrapper pieces. You don't want those in your food. The garbage. And we're just gonna cut a piece off that we're gonna use. And same thing like the green peppers. I'm gonna put this in a little Ziploc bag right here. 
And we got onion for the rest of the week, already cut. We'll put this in the fridge. And then like I said, we're not gonna use all the green peppers, so we're gonna do the same thing with the green peppers, is put some in a bag. Oops. not throw them on the floor. <laughs> but we got some out for that, so we will put these in the fridge quick. Okay, so side note, our sausages are done. They might look burnt, but I promise they're not burnt. They're gonna taste so good. So we're gonna take those off the heat until we're ready. There goes our pan for the eggs. But until we are ready, so cut this onion. So just cut the onion into little pieces because you don't want a huge chunk of onion in your burrito. That would not be, I mean, I personally don't. I guess maybe you do. But I don't. So cook it for your family, how uh, your family likes it, okay? You guys can change stuff. Just like the cheeses, you can change sausages. You can put different vegetables in these instead of spinach. I just so happen to have spinach, so it works. But we got that. So we got these cut up into our little cubes like I want them. So before we cook our eggs, what I do, let me go ahead and move this. What I'm gonna do is I like to saute the peppers and onions in butter to kind of cook them through because um, I don't want raw, big, crunchy peppers and onions in my burrito. So we'll turn this on. We are gonna let the butter melt. That's about how much butter I put in here. I'd say a tablespoon. We're gonna let that butter melt. You guys can watch the butter melt. Quickly. Better. So our, our butter is melted. Let's turn the heat down so we don't burn our peppers and onions. Put those in. We're going to put those low in the butter. We don't want to do it all fast and burn them up. Okay, so while these are cooking, we are going to go ahead and we're going to start our eggs. Sorry guys, like I said about the camera situation, we will get better um, just starting out, so I don't have the best tools, but you can still see what I'm doing, so that's all that matters, right? Let's see, one, two, three, four, five eggs. All right, this is one of my favorite utensils to use. This is like a silicone, mini silicone like spatula. I actually got this at the dollar store, um, but I love it. And so we're just gonna mix these up. Oh my gosh, I keep putting them on the floor. We'll pick those up later. Let's add a little more butter just so we don't want it to start burning. Ooh, make a little thing right here. I'm gonna go ahead and add the little milk into the eggs, just a splash. You don't want a lot because if you put a lot, it's gonna ruin the texture of your egg. Um, salt, I like this, pink Himalayan salt. I don't like white table salt. And plus this salt is a lot better for you. Oh, there goes my pepper. We're gonna put a little Mrs. Dash because that always tastes good in anything. I'll just put a little bit. Turn the heat down, mix that all together. This is gonna be so good. And better yet, when it come, when the work week comes and it's morning time and my kids don't wanna get up because the weekend is over and I don't wanna get up either, I don't have to worry about breakfast because I already took the time now to make it. Let's go ahead and scramble these eggs. There's just a little butter on there, so that's fine. Uh, but right now, me taking an hour to do all this is going to really benefit me come next week when I want something for breakfast that's quick and easy. So what you can do is you can either wrap these up and put these in the freezer, or if you're going to be eating them this week, you could just wrap them up and put them in the fridge, and whenever you're ready to use them, just pop them in the microwave. So we are whisking 
our eggs without a whisk. I just use a fork. You can use anything you want. I'm gonna whisk these together until you get bubbles in there. You know it's all incorporated. I go like this a few times just to make sure. Let's mix up our veggies again. Those are still not quite ready. Once the onions become translucent, meaning um, they'll be more clear, then we'll know that it's going in the right direction. So our onions and peppers are ready. You can see they're cooked. They're a little charred, but not really. Um, we're gonna add a little more butter in because we don't want our eggs to stick to the pan and most of the butter is gone because it fried up our vegetables. So just a little bit, just enough to know that your eggs are not gonna stick. Move those around. We're gonna turn the heat down because we don't wanna fry up our egg. I always give it one more little whisk. Go ahead and put it in. Take this over to the sink. We're going to mix it just a little bit like this. Move it to, here we go with this camera again. Move it to the middle just like this. They kind of say you're just pushing it through. You don't want to move it around too much. Go around the edges. Just make sure everything is cooking and not sticking. Um, one thing I have learned from watching the Food Network since I was super little is they say not to season your eggs until your eggs are cooked. Because if I put salt in here right now, the eggs are gonna get all watery. It's gonna push them apart. And I have noticed a change since I don't do that anymore. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna move you guys closer. We are just going to keep moving the eggs like this, go around the edges. Right now I have my heat on a three, or sorry, not a three, I have it on a two because like I said, I don't want to burn my eggs. I'm just going to move them around. You can tell like when things start progressing, you can tell it's going to start cooking quicker so you're going to have to move it more. But we are almost there guys, um, cooked our meat. Got our eggs going after this. Oh, one thing I forgot, guys, is spinach. I forgot to put the spinach, which is fine because we are right at that part. Like I said, this bag is kind of, um, some of the pieces are not so great, but they're already washed. And so I'm just going to pick out the pieces that look good and the spinach can go in right now. Let's put some spinach in. Those look good. Spinach does wilt down, so it might look like I'm putting a lot or maybe too much for you. Just put how much you want in. But as we move it around and the warm egg goes on it, it's gonna get really small and it's gonna look like it's actually not a lot of spinach. So I don't think I'm gonna add any more though. Whoops. I just wanted to add enough to where you get a little extra nutrients. Just fold those in. And then in a minute, as it, the eggs progress in their cooking stage, I will go ahead and season them. All right, you guys can see we're at the point now our eggs are done. Look how well our spinach wilted. So we are gonna go ahead now and turn the eggs off because they're done and we will season. So here goes a little pepper. Like I said, season how you want to season. And I will season how my family likes. I'm going to put some crushed red pepper flakes in here because I'm not using the spicy sausage like I might use. So it depends on how spicy you like stuff, just sprinkle some in. Okay, we'll go ahead and mix the seasonings together and then take that off the heat here we go assembly of the breakfast burritos so the reason why i have these towels down is because my table is really sensitive to heat and it will leave a huge white spot so i have to put the towels down and i decided we are not going to warm up the burritos on the fire like we would if we were having tacos 
because it doesn't make sense if we're not eating them. If I was going to eat it now, I would, but since I'm not, I'm just going to make it regular like this. And when um, somebody is ready to eat it, they can just pop it in the microwave and it'll work out good. Also with your cheese, you could have sprinkled it in the eggs when you cook the eggs. But for me, I just want to sprinkle it on top because I like a lot of cheese. You could do both. Uh, I guess it just depends. We're ready. Let's put our eggs in. Put how much you want in, but also keep in mind that you are going to have to roll this up. So don't get crazy. Somebody could always just eat two instead of one big one. So let's see. That's a decent amount in my opinion. So we will go ahead and put that on. Then I'm going to put my cheese on. Just a little handful like that. And then for your sausages, another easy thing with the link is since we left it like this, you could just lay it down on your burrito. Sorry, I guess you couldn't see. <laughs> you would lay it down long ways on your burrito. And then we are gonna go ahead, see. I'm just gonna fold, wrap it like that, fold the sides in. Press down a little hard to keep it in, but not hard enough to where you are going to rip your um, tortilla. And there you go. You guys have a breakfast burrito now. Need one little sheet of foil. Go ahead and put this in. Like that, pull the sides in. One fun fact about me is I used to work at Arby's. I worked there for four or five years. And that just reminded me because of how we would have to wrap the sandwiches. So I guess I still got it, even then, this many years later. But you guys seen how I did it. We will go ahead and make another one. We got seven burritos with five eggs, uh, so that's pretty good. Obviously, if you want more, then make more eggs and get more toppings, but that'll be good for the week uh, for me and him. I'll probably only eat two or three out of the whole week. He'll probably eat those four, which will be good. So we're going to do some cleaning. I just want to wipe off this table quick, and one thing I'm going to do before we're done, before I put these away, is I like to put down, um, I get a permanent marker and I put down today's date just so I know, kind of, I can gauge when they're going to go bad. So today is July 2nd. So we'll do seven, two. We'll put seven twos on all of these. And I'm not going to put any, um, Actually, I am going to put them in the freezer only because it's a holiday week. So we are off work on Monday. Tuesday, I'm actually off work too. So I don't want these to go bad unless you wanted to leave some in for a weekend breakfast too. That would be fine. All right, guys. Thank you for joining me for this breakfast burrito cooking session. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it's helpful and try it at home. If you liked what you've seen, if you enjoyed yourself, hit that subscribe button, stay around on my channel. It's going to be more cooking stuff, more meal preps. Just let me know. Comment down below, guys. Tell me what you want me to make, and I will get the ingredients to make it. Bye, guys. See you next time.